Well, hey there, Alpine Church. Today in our Spotlight video, we're going to introduce you to Pastor Jason. He's our youth pastor. He actually needs no introduction. Most of you probably already know Jason and Lacey, but you might not have known that they first came to Alpine Church a decade ago, right around this time of year. It was right around Christmas time. So we want you to hear his incredible story of hearing about Jesus at Alpine coming to faith and then eventually coming on staff as our youth pastor. So here's Pastor Jason. Well, thanks, Brian. Uh, as, as Pastor Brian said, my name is Jason Doman, and I, I am the youth pastor here at Alpine Church. Uh, and, and it's been right about 10 years since I started coming to Alpine. And uh, that that journey is is what I want to share a little bit with uh, with you guys about. Um, so, so roughly 10 years ago, my wife and I decided that uh, God was missing in our lives. It was kind of that cliche, uh, something's missing. Both of us were, were born and raised here in Utah. Uh, you know, we grew up believing a lot of different things than what we believe now. And, and so we decided that we, we wanted to check out uh, a, another church. And we, we expected to, to come and, and, and see a little bit and hear a little bit of the same that we were accustomed to. And uh, my wife, she was uh, at work and, and she printed off some papers with a, a whole bunch of different churches around the area and she came home and I I pulled one out at random and it, and it said Alpine Church on it um, and so so we got ready we dressed in our Sunday best and, and went to the Layton campus uh, and I walked in in my suit and tie and I stuck out like a sore thumb um, and, and it was it, very clear from the get-go that, that we were the new family there uh, and it was we were immediately surrounded by by love and and, and friendship um, and I remember Pastor G was there and, and, and Casey and Sherry were there and um, there there was just this welcoming feeling and, and, and then I looked over on the um, over on the countertop and I saw coffee and I was like, oh, oh no, what what have we gotten into? And uh, and then we went to the auditorium and there were all these electric instruments up on stage. And I was like, oh my gosh, I brought my family into the, the pit um, and and the music started and and everything changed. And it was it was all about Jesus. And all of these things just started making sense that this this person who I'd never seen in that light was my, my savior that he he was he was what I needed in life he was he was what uh, he just all these things that didn't make sense and, and all these shortcomings and all these feelings of not being worthy um, and, and and always being a failure and, and, and not being able to to earn my way to heaven and just always having that that just being a little bit short of where I needed to be, all those things just just came into place, just popped into place, and and, and I knew that the things were different. I knew that that Jesus was what we were missing. You know, even though it's that 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 cliche, something's missing in our life. Like Jesus is what we were missing in our life, uh, and and then from there, it's just been such an incredible journey. Uh, what God was doing in in all of our lives uh, and I and I started um, I volunteered for the youth group to be a leader in in youth and I, I did that for uh, almost five years and so I started leading a worship team and, and and I was just I was serving in a couple different areas and and then the opportunity arose to uh, to intern um, a, a, as a youth pastor and I, I took that and then six months later the the job actually opened up to me um, and so I've been on staff now about three and a half years as the youth pastor. Uh, it, it means so much to me. I, I love being here. I, I, Alpine Church is my home uh, and these, these students and, and my leaders are, are my second family. Uh, and, and I love them with all of my heart and to get to share um, Jesus with them. Uh, I just can't imagine doing anything greater than that. So thank you and God bless.